Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Joey, and I'm going to be making a series of videos about a 3018 CNC hobby router, hobby uh, CNC that I bought. And I'm going to go from start to finish on how I build it, what pieces I do, and what modifications I make. Uh, I, in the outset, I know I'm going to want this thing to be able to cut uh, aluminum pieces out. Um, the bulk of the time I'll be using it as an engraver, but I'm also going to be making it sturdy and upgrading the motor to do to a 500 watt motor and building a case around it. So I plan to document all of that. And what else? Yeah, I got a laser for it. I'll put the laser on. That's going to be sweet. So I've already on uh, already cut all the boxes open. So let's take them over to the work table and we'll get started. All right, so we're going to start off opening up the the main box that has all of the components to build the CNC in it. Let me bring that over here. Let's see. What we got? Okay. So, the main reason, well, first of all, I guess I should tell you that this one is the My Sweetie uh, Max reason that I picked this one is because everything is aluminum. Thick, heavy, CNC, aluminum. So, given that I know I want to cut aluminum parts out with this eventually, I thought it would behoove me to go ahead and just get the beefiest desktop one that I could find. That was at my price point. Oh, I've got two sets of Bits. These are the standard ones. Yeah. And these here look like they are. Like, it's two flutes. I got double flute here. And I got so the, the standard blue ones that come with the cheap shit. I'm not sure. A hardware pack. Yeah, well, I've watched a lot of reviews on the different desktop models, and I've seen a lot of people complaining about the hardware that comes with it, the screws being too short and whatnot. So, I don't know. We'll, I'll address that when I get there. These don't look like they're very small, so hopefully everything is sized appropriately. Aluminum. So this is the 300 watt motor that comes with it. Ooh, at least they claim it's 300 watt. I don't have this the equipment to test it, so I'll just have to take it face value that it is. What do we got here? Little guy. See if I can zoom in a little over here. Better. Pan down. Oh, that lighting sucks. Oh, it's a collet. Yeah, this is the one eighth collet, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Box says it on the other side. And it's the ER nut. There. Cute little bristle brush. And we got the power pack. Some zip ties. Support email. Hopefully, I don't need that. Yeah, this must be the instructions to put it together and whatever software that it might have come with. But I doubt I'll use whatever they have because I'm a, a Mac guy, so most likely be using uh, FreeCAD and Lightburn. Control board, Arduino. Okay, yeah, so all the important parts are covered. Wow. 
prosperity. Uh, what do we got here? These are hold downs. Put them over there. Some wires. Oh, nice. Good that. Wire keeper. What we got here? Ah, uh, this must be the external control board I ordered with it. Yeah. Being on Mac, I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and get one of these little control boards that you can upload uh, G code with. I realize it came with this. That's a nice little feature. What they give me? One gigabyte. Being completely new to CNC, I don't know how big a, a G code file will be for a full job. So hopefully a gig is big enough. If not, I know I have more for my GoPro. I got a bunch of cards I could use. Uh, USB connector. Step remote. Eh? Ah, it's a lot heftier than I thought it would be. That's got some chunk to it. So yeah, I'm new to making videos as well, so if my video sucks, you know why. See, now look. The uprights for the gantry. Aluminum. Let's see how thick is that. About 10 mil. About 2564 Imperial. Yeah, this was the biggest. These two components right here is what sold me on this one. All aluminum. Put it together carefully use some thread lock on these screws and possibly where the aluminum meets at the joints could put a little CA glue to add a little rigidity rigidity this thing this thing is going to be a beast I also like nice coating on here I don't know. I guess it's anodized. I'm not sure what the coating is called. Go back to the old. Standard 2040 or 4020. Not sure. Still new. Nice aluminum linear bearings. Um, yeah, this thing, I can't believe how nice this is actually. I mean, all of the components, uh, aside from like, you know, plastic, uh, electrical shit, solid aluminum. And the fit, oh, I don't know, I can't talk to the fit yet, but the finish is beautiful. I mean, right off the bat, I already know that I'm not going to be using this motor, the spindle. Likewise, I'm not going to be using this power supply. Because I already ordered the 500 watt spindle. And it, you know, comes with the power supply. Beautiful. And then some standard rod. I think I'm going to keep this one out so I can put parts in it. And so 
but this area here is going to be my staging area. But as I assemble it, I have a, a granite surface plate behind me that I'll be sort of putting it on to assemble things, to make sure that everything stays nice and flat. So I'll tell you, this came from Amazon because the manufacturer is called My Sweetie, and this is not their Pro, this is their Max, My, My Sweetie Max. This is what you'd have to look for if you want to get the same thing, all aluminum. That's Acme rods. Acme threaded. And yeah, everything is like machined beautifully. Threads are clean. All the edges are polished nice. I don't know. Is that visible to you? I don't know. Yeah, so far I'm very happy. I actually bought this thing like three weeks ago. I've been dying to put it together, but before I put it together, I knew I wanted to document it. And I've been fussing around with trying to get a makeshift studio type of thing going. Alright, so I'm going to sort through some of this stuff and get the instructions loaded up and see what I'm supposed to be doing. And we'll bring it right. So, I printed out the, the instructions in there. They're not spectacular. I'll just put it that way. Step one is assemble the base. So, you know, typical. So, uh, I guess this portion of the video is just going to be a time lapse, and then I'll do some voiceover if there's anything that, you know, is worth saying about it. the build uh, the other night I didn't get a chance to comment on it for the most part uh, I'm really happy with this machine it's very sturdy got a little tiny bit of play in uh, the I don't know I forget what it's called all of a sudden the spindle holder the spindle mount part of the problem I, I realized is this bottom rail is too short so I tried tightening it up so that it would, you know, be nice and sturdy and the screw 
stripped. So that sucked. And upon closer inspection, you can see all of these things are all nice and tight, but I can actually fit, oh, this is too thick, but I can fit a playing card in there. Let's see. Let me grab a card. So, actually I could probably stuff two in there. All right? What are these, about 1 64th thick? Yeah, so that's a 32nd of an inch off. I contacted the, the seller, my sweetie, and I will post an update when I hear back from them. But no. other than that, it's nice. It's actually pretty quiet. If I put this on, I haven't adjusted it or configured anything yet, but this works anyway. You could put the I mean, spindle up. vibrates a little because this is not on but I mean that's a hundred percent speed it's pretty quiet under no load and the same thing goes for the motors pretty quiet and everything works all the stepper motors work it powers on it powers off Yeah, that's that for now.